Speaking of some of the points that General just raised, there's a new report that says China, Iran, and Russia, they may be using students who are visiting this country to steal military and high-tech secrets from this country. So how serious do you think this could be to acting ICE Director Mark Morgan? Uh, Director, what do we know? Well, what I'll tell you is what we do know and what the American people need to know is that our broken immigration system, when we look at that, that's why we say it's both a humanitarian crisis along the southwest border, but as well as a national security threat. And this is a quintessential example that illustrates that this is also a national security threat. The loopholes and the abuses that, that are done throughout the system, in this case, the, the, the visa, it, it's a serious problem, Neil. How do we know they're stealing this stuff and getting it back home? Well, so th those are some sophisticated, uh, very complex, multi-agency investigations. Uh, you're you're going to, you know, ICE through the Homeland Security investigations, they, they bring a unique statutory ability on the immigration side, and they bring that to bear with, with other agencies like the FBI, who, who really have the primary lead for, for state-sponsored uh, uh, intellectual property theft like this. And we work together jointly, uh, but, but they're tough, complicated, complex cases to prove. Director, we're getting, you know, inklings out of these so-called talks. And I say so-called because nothing, you know, been concluded, but that the Mexicans are eager to secure a deal to, to ward off those tariffs that are coming next week. But part of it will allow more flexibility for us to deport more who get into this country and for them to, to nab more on their side uh, in their country. Uh, if that is sort of like a vague blueprint of a potential deal, what do you think of that? So, again... Neil, I'm not an economist. I, I'm a law enforcement professional, so Which I can is only why talk you from... make much more sense. But go ahead. <laughs> well, thank you. So, so from a law enforcement perspective, we, this is what we need. We, we need Mexico to step up. Look, we, we've worked with them for decades, and, and we'll go. We'll put some pressure. They'll do some good things for a little bit, and then they go back to the sidelines. It, that, that has to stop. This is clearly a crisis. We need Mexico, that are integral part, to be partners with us to stop this. You know, on their southwest border, Neil, I think you've talked about it. They've got 150 miles they have to secure. We have 2,000. They have pre-identified choke points that if they just increase their interdiction, they will absolutely be make a significant difference here. We, we need their help. The president is right. From a law enforcement perspective, we need this pressure. All right. Very good catching up with you. Mark Morgan, acting ICE director, joining us in our uh, Washington, D.C. bureau.